Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the RockShox 35 Gold RL. This is a two year review. The RockShox 35 Gold RL is RockShox budget 35 millimeter stanchion fork. The 35 Gold has compression damping with five clicks of compression. Four, five. And when you go all the way back, it locks the fork out. So this is where you add the air to the fork. Now it says it has a debonair spring depending on who you buy it from. Uh, it's more like the solo air spring and the inside diameter of the stanchions is actually closer to 32 millimeters. So if you have to use bottomless tokens on this fork you're going to end up with the 32 millimeter black bottomless tokens to try to put on. Now that will make it much harder for your fork to bottom out. The rebound damper has about 14 clicks worth of adjustment on it. Now this rebound damper is all part of an open bath system running up this leg of the fork. You will not notice a huge difference between fully closed or slow and fully open or fast rebound dampening. When I got this fork brand new with my bike, I had a really bad issue with stiction. What that is, is it's the fork getting stuck in certain points of the travel, not really being fluid. Now the cause of that was uh, bushings not being properly seated or glued in there. Um, maybe the diameter was wrong or whatever. Um, RockShox or SRAM really didn't give much of a reason other than just giving me a new set of lowers. Now the bushing sits about right here on the fork. Uh, it's a piece about that wide and uh, that if it becomes loose can cause this your top, your stanchion, to get stuck in its travel. I was noticing that my wife's bike, which has a coil spring, um, a sun tour um, on, a, on a hardtail, that was much smoother than my air fork. So that's what caused me to bring it in. And they did give me a warranty. Uh, it was done at no cost to me. So RockShox did make it right. With that being said, afterwards, I've done a bunch of service to this fork. Now, one thing that you can do that will make a huge difference is if you go and get the SKF uh, low friction wiper seals. So there's no extra flange sitting above the edge of that wiper seal. It's called flangeless SKF. Now that has made this fork operate so much better. It is so much more smooth and actually feels pretty decent now. Now when you first get your fork, your new RockShox 35 Gold RL, you can go and use your cell phone to get RockShox Trailhead app. You'll type in the serial number located just on the back of the crown. When you type that in, you can enter your weight and if it's an e-bike or a regular mountain bike, and it'll give you some base settings to try. Now for me, when I put my weight in, it ended up being about 10, 15 PSI more than what I actually need to use. Now that's just recommended settings. My personal settings, I run about 70 PSI on the uh, air shaft, and then I run 14 clicks out on the uh, rebound, so pretty much all the way out on rebound. And then my compression is either one or two from fully open. At this point in the video, I'm going to cut to some clips that I have from riding with the fork, where I got some footage of the fork actually functioning. I have different rides from riding down a pretty flat section of trail to a rock garden climbing uphill to descending as well and hitting a small jump, just so you get an idea of the fork actually functioning. Anyways, check it out. Right. 
out on the trail to speed. Let's talk about how this fork feels when you're out riding it. If you're on a pretty flat path, it feels fine. You really can't notice too much. You start riding harder stuff, more downhill, uh, rock gardens, tech, uh, your hands are gonna hurt, your wrists are gonna hurt. It feels pretty harsh. Not that smooth. Uh, it's gonna beat you up quite a bit. Um, taking it to the bike park, about two laps in, your hands are stuck to the handlebars because it just it, it's so harsh it, it, there's there's no real plushness to this fork feels uh, for your compression dampening you have five clicks of compression to choose from clicks one through three really don't feel any different your fourth click you will notice a difference uh, the area where the oil goes through becomes small enough that you actually feel a difference in how hard it is to compress the fork. Um, that being said, I usually run it at two out or so from, from fully open, just so it doesn't feel like a pogo stick. Uh, fully open kind of feels like a pogo stick. Um, with your rebound settings as well, there's not really any click that you can hear when you're twisting your rebound knob. Um, what I've kind of figured out over time is I have re every quarter turn it would equal a click that you would hear or feel on a higher end fork. Um, between the fully closed and fully open, there is not much of a difference. You will think that it will be broken brand new because you cannot feel a difference between fully closed and fully open that's just how the fork is it's a budget rock shocks fork with 35 millimeter stanchions they put this out so more people i think had an option to own a 35 millimeter fork without spending over 500 dollars but it's close enough that just buy the yari if you're if you're gonna go with rock shocks leave this one behind so this fork is marketed as being a debonair spring. When you take the air spring out of the uh, fork, you'll notice it doesn't look like the debonair spring that they're marketing now. Um, it's similar, but what this spring does is more of what the solo air spring does is that at top out, it re-equalizes the air pressure between your negative and positive air springs. There's no dimple in the fork where you'd find with a debonair TM air spring um, and that dimple on the debonair forks will allow your equalization of air pressure between your positive and negative chambers throughout the travel not just a top out um, that is a difference in it so even though you're reading debonair it is not quite a debonair air spring all in all this fork does its job it does what it's supposed to do for its price range and for the level of rider that it's intended for. So somebody beginner or, or early intermediate, this fork would work fine for you. You would love it without knowing what the other forks could do. Um, it does work on everything that I've thrown it at, and I haven't had any problems that I couldn't fix personally, whether it be take the fork apart and take a look at what's wrong with the rebound damper why is it leaking how can i repair it what what do i have to do to the air spring so it doesn't stick anymore why isn't there any grease left in the air spring you know little things that pretty much anybody can do if you're mechanically inclined to repair this fork you can get this thing feeling pretty decent um, that being said i will leave you with another clip of riding down one of the hills today um, and what this fork is intended to do and what it can do. So as always, I hope you have a great day. I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope you have a chance to go out and ride your bike. 
Thanks a lot, and we will see you next time.